just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us to the Norwegian epic for a seven day epic sail to the southern caribbean islands we are going to be stopping at abc islands saint lucia saint kids the itinerary is fantastic i am super pumped about it well as we just boarded on the norwegian epic let's uh, let us give you some first impressions of the ship we are also not only doing first impressions but we're doing pros and cons of this ship and we're going to walk you around this entire ship and take you on a cruise tour that way if you are coming on this ship you know what to expect and on top of that we are filming and documenting every single stop and things to do and our for, uh, impressions of each stop because this is our first stop to all first time to all of those islands so let's start with our first impressions of the norwegian epic just, just be, be out, out with us, us. Norwegian Epic sails out of Pan American Pier cruise ship port and the check-in process is pretty streamlined. We just got to the port, received our luggage tags and there is a really long line to drop off our luggage but everything is divided people just go through their rows and everything seems to be very straightforward uh, what we don't like about pan american pier is it's not really walkable so if you're planning to stay in the area uh, it's there is no official sidewalk it's wedged between the airport strip and the pier so and any shops if you want to go to uh, get some shopping or pick up anything for your cruise you have to walk all the way around the airport to get to the shops let's go jump off our luggage and get on board the mystery of the fifth deck we can't find it anywhere upon coming onto this cruise we got in the elevator and we have people per se press five press five there is no five located inside the elevator and people are baffled they're like wait a minute they just told us that it's on the fifth floor so they got in the elevator assuming that you're gonna press five and you're gonna go now if you come here you see it there's shopping there's dining there's bars there's a lot going on on the fifth floor but nobody seems to know where the fifth floor is well we haven't figured it out, but we are creating a complete walkthrough of this ship and we're taking you along with us. So be sure to subscribe and we're going to show you and figure out where the hell this fifth floor is. The most boring process on the cruise ship is back the mandatory drill. Everybody now have to come back to the theater and uh, listen to the mandatory safety drill. It takes about half an hour, but if you don't get it done, you have to come back another day. So be sure to complete your mandatory safety drill. We found this gem, the Sky Vodka Ice Bar. Now, as far as I know, when you go in here to drink vodka, they give you a coat, they give you gloves, they give you scarves, they give you everything to keep you warm because it's really cold in there. We're gonna need to go in there and check it out and see what it's like. You had sail on the Norwegian before. You know that every time you come to the main dining area, they have somebody greet you with songs, happy, happy dance, washy, washy, wash your hands. What we notice on the region Epic, they do not have that anymore. They have the gentleman or the lady standing right in here and they just point you to sanitize your hands, but they do not do any more songs for happy, happy, washy, washy, and we miss it. And another thing we notice, uh, people who greet you in front of the dining area now wear a black suit and even the women black suit jacket with a skirt, almost like a security. Now let's talk about the food so far. Well, surprisingly enough, the food has been really good. Now the reason I say it's surprising because we've been cruising for a while and the food all kind of begin to taste the same. But for some reason, so far, the cruise in the buffet area, which is where we're eating now, has been really good every day we've come here to eat. So that's surprising. Of course, when it comes to specialty dining, the flavor of the food and everything else gets elevated. But for the dining purposes, just here in the buffet, food has been really good. As I'm going through all the notifications that they leave you in the room, I just found out that we got invited to a party. We have a gold status with Norwegian Cruise Line and they invited us to a special event, a closed off party specifically for gold membership. This is so sweet. I feel special. 
and of course we will film it and show you what it's all about our dining experience here at taste well this is the first time we're actually coming and sitting down for dining and from the outside when you kind of check in it's nice and white and you know it, it looks very modern but when you come in here it's kind of like a disconnect because there's red carpeting and exposed brick walls and to my left there's windows that are all different colors so there's actually a disconnect from what you see when you're on the outside of the restaurant checking in compared to when you come inside it seems like this like i'm in a totally different restaurant especially with all this different color shutter windows stained glass windows anywho as far as the food goes the food is good so far um like we mentioned i noticed the service is kind of on the slower side we had to wait about 45 minutes for us to even get in here and i get it there's a lot of people in the ship the ship is too capacity at this point um, so that's to be understandable. But I also noticed um, in other sh cruises we've been on, there are sometimes two to even sometimes three servers in the area per table. So one will come, they'll bring you bread, they'll bring you water, and another server will come and then they'll take your order. Here, we've only had this one waiter and he's just kind of been back and forth. And like I said, the service has been a little bit on the slow side, but it is what it is. And that's our first impression in our first time dining at Taste. Wow, I've never seen this setup on any other ships. As soon as you walk out of the elevator, you have spa reception and spa waiting area. This is really different. As we're walking around the ship, the interior looks beautiful. It definitely looks like it was uh, newly updated, but the outdoor deck and the pools definitely looks outdated and much older looking. So one of the first impressions that we noticed is that the flavors of ice cream they have here. And it's not just the soft ice cream that comes out of the machine. It's actually the hard flavored ice cream that's... And they have so many flavors. They have over what? Two, four, there's like 12 flavors. Look at this. And they have rum raisin, which is my favorite ice cream. I've never had rum raisin on a pastry before. This is my first. That's definitely a plus. One thing we've noticed on the ship since we've been on here is that the staircase is really tight. As you can see, it can barely fit two people. We've been on other cruise ships where the staircases are very broad, but like I said, it feels very tight on this ship. As you can see, most of the, even though the staircases and also in the, going to the rooms, you'll notice that the staircases are really, really, really tight. So it causes congestion. And these were our personal first impressions of this ship. If you've sailed Norwegian Epic before, let us know in the comments. What were your first impressions? We're filming so much content for this ship and all the stop on the region epic pros and cons, full ship walking tours, and the review for all the stops, ABC Island, St. Kitts, St. Lucia. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification so you don't miss when we publish our next video. We thank all our members for supporting our channel. And if you would like to contribute, uh, consider becoming a member or just click the heart button below this video. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Cheers. In our next video, we will be starting our ABC Islands exploration and we will take you on Aruba Grand Tour and let you know if it's worth it. So the next time you come to Aruba, you will get the most out of your vacation. Just be out with us.